all that is happening, we are not perturbed at all. We are in this race to liberate our state. I repeat, we are in this race to liberate our state. We will not be intimidated. We will not be forced into submission. And we know our people are ready to vote these characters out of power. Never again shall we have them. Amen. This commission, I went to the IG. This is a guy that is, that is moving around with thug, a commission officer, moving around with thug to attack innocent people, to kill innocent people, to maim innocent people. The guy is there now. He's the one superintendent, superintendent of police, Ojo, or Bafemi Ojo. He's in the state. Moving around. Okay, if you have a, a warrant to arrest somebody, this, the rest has uh, police detail there. Are you not to disarm those police people? Uh, telling them, okay, your principal is under arrest. You just thump the place like a criminal at night, and then next thing start shooting everywhere. Bring down the gate. Kill them as if they are criminal. A commission officer. An inspector of police. This is not Somalia. Mr. President has said that what he wants is a free and fair election. And we are seeing that it's not, been, it's not just what he's saying, it's been demonstrated. We are seeing what INEC is doing, we are seeing what the military are, are doing. Even the police, we've seen the deployment from Abuja, but the CP, Mr. Bertrand Onoha, have been contracted to get me eliminated. Himself and the director, uh, the, the director of DSS in Kogi State, Mr. Tosin, and the commander of NNS Lugard, Navy Commodore Julu. These three officers are the ones that, that, that have been commissioned to get me eliminated between now and the election time. So I want you to tell the world, let the world know. This is the situation we are facing in Kogi State right now. I was billed to be in that house yesterday because I have a rally this morning in Ayamba. Because of all that, all that, because my people have moved in advance, but I was billed to sleep there because that's where I, that's where I normally uh, sleep. And that's why they came this night. If you are coming to arrest somebody who is a criminal, are you not supposed to invite the person? that you are wanted by the authority. There was nothing like that. They invade the house with a like criminal and then start shooting. With ammo tank. With Commander Akeleze. Is Akeleze the chief law enforcement officer of the state? What is his own role? This guy has killed no less than 30 people in Kogi state. As I've talked to you now, more than 40 people are missing in Central. As a result of the activities of this Mr. Kelezi. Is that the kind of democracy we want? Right. What, what? The candidate of the Social Democratic Party for this weekend election would have been assassinated by adult force talks and policemen who invaded the residence of my DG. The DG of my campaign, Sheikh Jibril Ibrahim. The sole purpose of assassinating me in the course of the attack, which lasted for almost two hours, between 6 a.m., between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. this morning, of which three policemen officially attached to the residence and the DG were killed. The three policemen were killed by the ad hoc, the ad hoc talks led by Commander Akelezi of the Nigerian Navy. This arrangement is being coordinated by the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Bertrand Onoha, the Commander of the Nigerian Navy, uh, Navy Commodore uh, Ajulu, and the Director of DSS, Mr. Tosin. These are the killer squad of Yayabelo in Kogi State. And with these people in Kogi State for this election, I doubt if we will have a peaceful election. So we are here today to talk to you as a gentleman of the press to help us echo what has happened. As I'm talking to you now, over 20 people are confirmed dead. I don't know where their bodies are. They killed these people, shot them, and took their dead body away. 
And there are apparently some people in Lokoja CID command now that they are thugs. Among those that are parading is the DG New Media of my campaign, Mr. I.D. Ijeli, who contested as senator of Kogi East in the last general election. So I'm calling on the press that Mr. Bertrand Onoha, the commissioner of police in Kogi State, and Mr. Tosin, the, DG, the director of DSS in Kogi State, and Navy Commodore Ajulu are the people behind this arrangement. And their intention is to get me eliminated. And I'm aware of the contract between them and Ayabelo. We are calling on the federal government. I'm calling on the Mr. President to please come to our aid. What we want in Kogi State is a peaceful election. Election is not war. We are not out for war. And there's nobody who is a thug in where I come from. They are the ones recruiting these talks. These talks. Yaya Bello is the one recruiting talks. He is not the one contesting this election. The candidate of APC is Mr. Ododo. What concerns Yaya Bello? That is busy recruiting talks, buying AK-47 for youth to attack. I've had more than 30 attacks. In all of these attacks, nobody has been arrested. Mr. Bertrand Onoha, who is sitting there at the CP, is part of this plot. I don't know what joined the Nigerian Navy that are coordinating these things. Mr. Kelezi has killed no less than 50 people in Kogi State. Over 30 people are missing in the central, in his name. There is nothing we do not do under the former chief of Nava staff, Gambo, to get this guy tried. Up to now, Mr. Kelezi is still in Kogi State, and he has been contracted to get me assassinated for the election. Myself, the DG of my campaign, some of my supporters, including the former deputy governor of Kogi State, is on the list of those that have been commissioned to get eliminated. So we are here to let you people know so that you can help us tell the world that this is what is going on in our dear state. But we are not perturbed. The police officers that have been killed today who will ensure justice for them. Who will make sure Mr. Sipio Noha is being tried. Who will make sure the director of DSS, Mr. Tosin, is being tried. Who will make sure the, the Navy commander, the commander of NNS, who is part of the planning this attack, have been tried. Because the federal government is not paying them to come and kill people. They have been paid and commissioned to protect lives and property, but they are doing otherwise. So that is why we are here to address you people today. Thank you. Yeah. Issue that comes overnight. Somebody was a candidate in the last election for senatorial election, and it was screened by the DSS. There was no record that this person who is trying to contest is a terrorist and should be disqualified. There was no such thing. Today, after two, three, four months, the person has become a, a terrorist. Now, if you want to make an arrest of an individual whom you tag an outlaw, you don't go there to fight. Do you go there to shoot guns? No. More so, these individuals have Nigerian police protection. So you come there to the house and kill people and kill the policemen. Is this in the interest of Nigeria? It's certainly not. It's in the interest of their master, Alaji Yayabelu, who believes that by all means, he must establish a dynasty in Kogi State. That is not possible. We are a determined people. The guns they have prepared will kill and be tired because their gun would fail them with time and with the determination of the people of Kogi State. We are not going to be discouraged. We are not going to be weakened. We are not going to chicken out at all. We shall stand our ground. We are going to vote. We are going to protect our votes. It is on this note I want to call on all co guys. Wherever you are, the more of this thing, the louder we will become. The more of it, the stronger we are going to be. The more of it, the greater our victory. Yes. All that they are doing is in favor of our rising. Yes. And definitely, as the Lord liveth, 
come November 11, we shall be declared governor of Kogi State. We want to use this forum to call on the president to first of all thank him for the deployment of the military, the police, and all the security agents. We are happy about it. But we want to employ him to please ask Belo to behave himself of the name of an individual called His Excellency. Politics is not toggery. Politics is about warring people. Politics is about putting the interests of the people before anything. The violence he has been living on cannot continue. And if politics in Nigeria has to go that way, then anarchy is sure at the corner. We pray that His Excellency, the President of Nigeria, call below to order soon. If not, Kogi's people and Nigerians are about to hit the street. Maybe, if nothing is done, even the election day, this will happen. This is what he's looking for. Co guys will, will mobilize and occupy the entire place. Their gun will fail them that day. Because when you shoot and shoot and shoot, and the people still continue to come with all determination, your gun will fail you. We thank you for listening to us. A calling of all well meaning Nigerians, traditional rulers, to please help us talk for that to the president, so that Kogi State can remain a state, so that Kogi State can be like other states. It was not an error. God knows why Prince Abubakar Audu died. That opportunity was given to Belo, and he ought to use it. But it has been misused, and he wants to continue in it. And as I've said in my previous press conference here, all that he's struggling is to extend his hand into the pores of Kogi State by putting a stooge there so that he will have a source of monetary power to run for presidency in 2027. God will not allow it. Thank you very much.